What is this even, meow? What is this even? I don't even know, man. This is surreal. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's amazing. Yeah. What's on the screen? Oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a FLIR infrared camera. It can see heat, so even in the dark, it's still able to see. And this is Nikolov. Oh, like now? Yeah. Is it filming? It's already halfway through. <laughs> oh no, start again! No, nah, it's getting added. Yeah, so this is interesting here. This is a new way to see reality. It's kind of like an augmented view of the world through infrared. Imagine if you could see gravitational waves or our, the entire spectrum across. Why can't we see in infrared? Ooh, I guess our eyes haven't evolved for that reason. If we had infrared predators... <laughs> Fucking A! I can bite you. No, it's got, no it's, it said it's back this way now. Oh, she's still... She doesn't have enough leverage <laughs> to be able to do it. Make it go back that way. <laughs> Show it back down its arm now. Okay, sorry. Oh, Put sweet. your hands out. Actually, she's not got oh, a feather recently, so she's not hungry. <laughs> which is important, right? Can I just rest my hand on top of that? Not on top, underneath. Well, you just that might be patterned. There you go. Don't let go though, because you've got her weight now. Don't let go. Oh, <laughs> gross! Don't oh, let go. Can you, can you take it? In a sec. So we're really limited by our senses. We have vision and sound, but there's all these other things that we don't experience and we don't know they're there because we don't experience them, so we're not missing them. So I guess this comes back to like augmented reality, being, being able to see like the entire visual spectrum in however you want, like, you know, being able to see radio waves, gravitational waves, uh, visual, auditory... Television is what... <laughs> can, can we see people having sex inside We the can houses? see their TV. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, so my phone battery died last night. No one has a Type-C charger. Oops. So I probably should finish off yesterday's Snapchat. I'm kind of on like a three-day bender. I've been hanging out with awesome people. An another party tonight. So firstly, fuck snakes. Those things are freaky fuckers. Ooh. <laughs> um, but yeah, the, the interesting thing is that uh, so snakes have infrared sensors in their kind of necks. So I've always, always thought of like augmentations in terms of technology. So like AR glasses you'd wear where you'd be able to see infrared and different types of the spectrum. But we could actually do that with biology as well. There's a whole area of like biomimicry uh, where they're basically trying to like look at the way uh, animals move and use that in robotics. Um, but you can actually also look at like the, the different qualities animals have. I imagine if we could just like grab the, the qualities from every single animal out there and just every single species, catalog them, and you could just like almost install them, download them as an app into your own body to absorb that quality. That like one example of this really awesome girl uh, was that you could use tardigrades and the qualities that they have where they can survive in you know the vacuum of space. And imagine if you could take that quality and kind of inject it into humans. Or imagine if you could like um, install sonar, like how dolphins have sonar, or how snakes have infrared sensors, or just any type of quality that's like really bizarre, but in a biological form. And this is the cool thing that like biotech and biohackers are really doing, because at the end of the day, those features and those functions and those kind of superpowers in those animals, they're defined in their DNA, and we can hack that and change it. We can identify which gene expresses those particular features that we're after, pull them out, and kind of inject them into our own body somehow, um, through gene therapy or something, which could be really crazy. <laughs> I talked before about how when augmented reality goes mainstream, we're all wearing uh, heads-up displays, like augmented reality displays that will have like an app store for reality, and everyone's reality but will be different. You know, so you could download an app that makes a beach. So meaning like you could download an app that makes all cows purple or something, or I could download an app that makes the beach a shimmering, shiny, laser, freaking trippy thing. Or you download the reptilian app, and when you look at everyone, everyone's a reptilian. So I'm actually the exact same thing, but instead of like downloading apps to change your reality, you download like biological little viruses that you inject into yourself and it changes you. I'm actually had an implant where it actually synthesized those biological viruses on the fly, so you could use your phone to install infrared vision and in uninstall it just as easily. So stop your thoughts at Future, where else could you go with that? What other crazy ideas could you do with like being able to download and inject biological features, superpowers, functionality? Four, three, two, one, zero. Lift off of the Falcon 9. Mm -hmm. 
Come in. Ooh, I'm lost. Space.